relations problem right here the question is asking find the basis and the diamonds for the solution of the system so they have given a null space system so we have to find the find the solution let's see how we can do this so first of all we have to arrange this in a matrix form so matrix form is going to be 1 3 4 2 1 3 and minus 1 2 1 and the other side is going to be 0 0 0 now I have to make all the values below and above the pivot to 0 so let's see how we can do this 1 3 4 0 I can eliminate this one by multiplying the first equation by negative 2 and adding to the second equation so that's going to give us minus 2 r2 plus r minus 2 r1 plus r2 is going to give us 0 right here and minus 2 times 3 is going to be minus 6 plus 1 is going to be minus 5 minus 2 times 4 is going to be minus 8 plus 3 is going to be minus 5 equal to 0 then I can do the same thing to the other one I can simply add the r1 and r3 to make this one equal to 0 so r1 plus r3 is going to give us 0 right here and 3 plus 2 is going to be 5 4 plus 1 is going to be 5 and 0 and if you notice that uh, second row and third row have similar patterns so we can eliminate one of them by adding it together so 1 3 4 0 0 minus 5 minus 5 0 and if we add r2 and r3 r2 plus r3 the third row will become 0 0 0 0 and if you see it is minus 5 minus 5 I can simplify this one by dividing this one by minus 5 so if you if I divide that one by minus 5 that will become 0 1 1 0 and the bottom is going to be 0 0 0 0 then I can eliminate the 3 by multiplying the second equation by negative 3 and adding to the first equation so let's do that minus 3 r2 plus r1 is going to give us 1 0 and this is going to be minus 3 plus 4 is going to be 1 and the other side is going to be 0 then we are going to have 0 1 1 0 and 0 0 0 if you see we brought this one into ghost Jordan pattern because the ghost Jordan pattern has to have values below pivot and above pivot should be 0 so we have brought that by pattern this one is not there's no pivot in this column so this is going to be, this is going to be my free value so if you see let's take this one as x y z so if i take this one as x, x y z then z is going to be my free variable so we can say z is the free variable free variable so i have to answer everything in terms of free variable so answers are going to be in terms of z so first let's, let's create the equation so first equation is going to be x plus z is going to be equal to zero then the second equation is y plus z is equal to 0 so from the first equation I can say x is equal to minus z and the second equation I can say y is equal to minus z so if I arrange arrange this one into x y z pattern like x y z so this is going to be minus z comma minus z comma z z is going to be itself because it's a free variable and if I take the z command this is going to be minus 1 minus 1 1 the question is asking find the find the basis and the dimension for the solution so whenever they ask basis we, we have to bring this one into the uh, basic pattern so it's going to be b is equal to i had to eliminate this c because c mean it can be any real number uh, in this case we want the basic pattern we don't we we shouldn't write this c for the answer therefore the basis is going to be equal to minus one minus one one and the dimension is going to be depends on the number of free variable and also you can uh, count the number of uh, linearly independent vectors so in this case we have one vector in this space also we have one free variable so we can say dimension equal to one it's easy to uh, count the free variable and say the dimension uh, because it's always very obvious to count from free variables so dimension is equal to one so that's the final answer for this one and the next question is asking find the basis and the dimension for span 1 1 2 3 minus 1 0 4 0 2 so we have to do the same thing right there but in this case uh, this is not a null space right the, this one they have given 0 here that's why we, we do the null space in this one there is no 0 uh, they, they are not even mentioning this is a null space so we have to just arrange in a 
rows like 1, 1, 2, 3, minus 1, 0, 4, 0, 2. And now I have to do the ghost showdown. So if I do the ghost showdown for this one, let's see what happens. 1, 1, 2, and to eliminate the value below uh, pivot, I have to make this one into 0. First of all, I, for the first row, second row, I can multiply the first row by negative 3 and add it to the second row. So it's going to be minus 3 R1 plus R2, which will give us 0 right here. And this is going to be minus 3 plus minus 1 is going to be minus 4. And then the other one is going to be minus 3 times 2 is going to be minus 6 plus 0 is going to be minus 6. And then I can eliminate the third row by multiplying first row by negative 4 and adding to the third row. So minus 4 R1 plus R3 is going to give us 0 right here. Minus 4 plus 0 is going to be minus 4. Minus 4 times 2 is going to be minus 8 plus 6, 2 is going to be minus 6. And if you notice that we have second row and third row with that same number so we can eliminate one of them by multiplying one of them by negative one and adding to the other so let's do that one one two and zero minus four minus six and I, if i multiply the second row by negative one it's going to be negative r2 plus r3 which will give us zero 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 and if you notice uh, uh, we have minus four minus six we can make it simpler by dividing each by negative four so let's do that. 1, 1, 2. And if I divide this one by negative 4, negative 4, this will become 0, 1, mm, 3 by 2. Then I can eliminate this one by multiplying the second row by negative 2 and adding to the first row. So let's do that. Negative R2 plus R1, which will become 1, 0, and negative 3 by 2 plus 2, 2. We can write this one as 4 by 2. So 4 by 2 minus 3 by 2 is going to be 1 by 2. Then uh, second row is going to be remain the same. 0, 1, 3 by 2. Last row is going to be 0, 0, 0. Then we have, uh, finally we have brought this one into Gaussian pattern. Now let's answer the question. The question is asking, find the basis and the diamonds for span. So basis means the rows with the leading, leading ones. So in this case, we have first row and the second row with leading ones. So we have to write the answer as uh, first row and second row. So let's, let's write it. So therefore, basis is equal to first row is what? 1, 1, 2. And the second row is 3, 1, 3 minus 1, 0. 3 minus 1, 0. And this is my final answer. And they, they are also asking the dimension. Dimension, we can count the vectors right here. So if you see, we have two linearly independent vectors. So that's going to be the dimension. So dimension is equal to 2 and this is my final answer. I hope you guys like this video. See you next time.